I just saw somebody had a program talking about that we have to keep the Torah and that we have to keep the commandments and we have to abide by the law of God. But the problem is, is that most of what people think is the law of God is misconstrued and it is more of a pharisaical approach to the kingdom of God. I mean, the Pharisees studied the Torah. They knew Hebrew and they actually made law because Israel was a government. Judah was a government. They turned the Sanhedrin of Israel into a legislature that was actually making laws, and they turned the priests into literally law enforcement. They would have Gabbai, Molokai ministers go out and measure your field to make sure that they knew exactly how many bushels of grain you were likely to have to turn in. They would count your sheep to know how many they could expect to receive from you. And of course, this was to maintain a daily ministration to help the needy of society. And it was done through a system called Corbin. You know, he had a hundred sheep and you gave ten sheep to one of the Gabbai and Molokai ministers. They could turn around and sell those sheep, take the money and put it into the treasury. And they could use the money that was in the treasury to take care of the needy of society. The problem was originally this was supposed to be a free will offering in the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of God. Now, originally, Israel was the kingdom of God, and they operated by faith, hope, and charity in the perfect law of liberty. Now, they strayed from those original teachings of free will offerings, which we call Corban, that's your sacrifice, and they turned it into a compelled offering. And they actually numbered the people, counted the people, you got registered, and you were given a Hebrew name, and it was carved on a white stone, And you could show that white stone anywhere and it was registered so that the Hebrew letters of your name actually give you a numerical value because those Hebrew letters were representing numbers. So that if your name was Aaron or Simon or Simon Barjona, you would have a particular number assigned to your name. And that would identify, and you would say, I'm Simon of Jonah, Bar is son of Jonah. And there may be other numbers that were added on to that to signify that it was you. And so if you were a member, you were expected to pay into the temple. You could be forced to pay into the temple. And you also were eligible for the benefits. The Levite ministers were keeping an account of you because you were counted, you were numbered. David started numbering the people to identify them. He was doing it for the draft, but Saul probably wanted to do it for the compelled offerings that Saul implemented. They told Saul that he was acting foolishly because he was forcing a sacrifice. He was forcing a sacrifice because the people needed to be defended against the Philistines who were mounting an army. And so he forced a sacrifice to fund his army, to get the provisions that he was going to need to supply that army. That's not the way Israel was supposed to do it. They were supposed to do it through free will offerings. But he forced an offering and Samuel called him out on that. Said, you've done this foolish thing and because of that your kingdom will not stand. 